Hi, I'm Roger. And I'm Cindy. And, and we're Changing, Changing the, the view. view. Welcome to our channel. Today we're in Savannah, Georgia. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small Beautiful Savannah, the first city of the 13th colony, so rich in history and amazing to explore. And as we discovered, a great place to be if you like to eat. We meant to be Great outdoors, forever free. On our trolley tour, the guide sparked our interest as we drove past what she referred to as literally a hole in the wall that People magazine had recently recognized as having the best sandwich in the state. We decided to give Zunzi's a try. It's a South African, Swiss, Italian, and Dutch-inspired restaurant. We tried the Conquistador sandwich, which is the one awarded the title. It was a great sandwich, just a little spicy. We also had the South African sweet tea. You and me were meant to be We were informed that a day in Savannah is not complete until you visited Leopold's Ice Cream, as it's named one of the top 10 ice cream parlors in the world. So we waited, and waited, and waited in this very long line. We decided to have some delicious chocolate chewies and cream made with chewy cookies, Georgia pecans, and vanilla ice cream. Yummy! On River Street, there's an interesting statue of the Waving Girl. Legend has it that she stood on Elba Island waving a cloth for over 40 years as sailors entered the port to Savannah. Her hope was that one day her long lost love would see her and return to her. She was usually greeted in return by a blast of the ship's horn. However, we're told that part of the story is a tale, as it seems there was no lost love she just enjoyed being a hostess to welcome ships to the city. A must-see in Savannah is Forsyth Park covering 30 acres. This beautiful park was a great place to explore. The hiker is at the south entrance of the park, honoring the Georgia volunteers who fought in the Spanish-American War. There's also a marine monument honoring Marines killed in Korea and Vietnam Wars, as well as a Confederate monument in the center of the park. At the north end is a gorgeous fountain with an interesting backstory 
about it being an 1858 mail order fountain costing $2,200. If you're looking for the famous bench where Forrest Gump sat as he waited for the bus and told his life story, you'll be disappointed to find that it was only placed there as a prop in the movie. However, you can visit Chippewa Square where the scene was filmed. You can also visit the Savannah History Museum to see a replica of the bench. So we are at Paula Dean's, first restaurant she opened. She opened this restaurant with her sons, her two sons. And she opened it as a lunch takeout. So they would like deliver lunch to people in the community. So this is where it all started. At the recommendation of my sister Faith, we made reservations at the old pink house in the historic district. This was the end to our day of exploring. Apparently, the pink house is the most famous restaurant in Savannah, and we discovered one of the reasons why. The food was divine, and we really appreciated the special attention they gave to Brennan. He loves to talk, and they would stop to listen. Our server Diana was amazing. It was a great experience, and we highly recommend it. Savannah was amazing. We had about a day and a half there uh, due to the weather, but we really enjoyed exploring the city. Beautiful city. Uh, yeah, the rain messed us up. We've had quite a bit of rain in this area lately. Uh, we do recommend the, uh, the trolley tours. And we, that is Old Town Trolley? Old Town, not Old not Time. Old time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but this is about the third time that we've used that service and we've been, uh, we've been very pleased with it. Uh, they, didn't, uh, they didn't disappoint in Savannah. Um, there's so many things to see there, a lot of history that we didn't even get to um, get into. We spent a lot of time in the food places, so... <laughs> yeah, as we indicated earlier, it's a great place if you like to eat. Um, yeah, we were only there a day. Um, we wish we would have had more time uh, to take our time and to, uh, to take in all of the uh, historical sites of the city. It's definitely a return spot. Yeah, we'll be back. We're going to take about a week to relax. We're hitting up one of our 1,000 trails uh, campgrounds in 
South Carolina. So it's going to be a laid back week for us. Looking forward to that. Okay, we are currently at one of the Thousand Trails in uh, South Carolina. And we had planned on uh, taking a day and traveling over to uh, Congaree National Park. However, uh, Cindy did a little research before we were about to leave and found out. There's a lot of flooding. A lot of the trails are closed, so we thought we'd save it for another time. Yeah, it's a pretty good uh, road trip from here. We were looking at uh, a couple of hours, maybe a couple hours there and a couple hours back. So uh, due to the flooding uh, issues, we decided to, uh, to postpone that. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and if you like this video, smash that like button for us and uh, leave us a comment. We love uh, hearing the comments and we love hearing from you and responding uh, to that. So until next time, we'll see you down the road. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful